is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your goal report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us here. No. Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender. And let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials off 1,077, NASDAQ off 641, SP's off 170. Gold. Gold contract down $22.50, trading at 2,447 an ounce. We have silver down at buck thirteen, twenty-seven dollars twenty-five cents an ounce. Late sweet crude, flat, seventy-three dollars thirty-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note flat, one fourteen oh five. Thirty-year up seventeen at one twenty-five nineteen. And king dollar, king dollar right now trading down five eleven, one oh two six ninety-seven euro one oh nine. Yen, 143. British pound, 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to bring up... Uh, it doesn't matter which one I bring up first. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Bring up the S&Ps first. And I'll show you where we're at here. So... When you take a look at this, right, what you're going to see is this, folks, okay? Now, coming off the lows this morning, you know, depending on, you know, how many cycles you've been going through, I mean, this was a buy. No two ways about it, especially if you're a trader, okay? Um, and it really went great, okay? Right up to the last, well, not right up, okay? The bottom line is that you, you, had, you had the juice going with you, you had the volume going with you. And then when we took out the swing, that's when the volume dropped off dramatically. Now, bottom line is it will come all the way back to last time we had volume. That being said, I'm telling you, I would be going long or shot. I mean, I was long and shot all day long out here. Well, I quit at 11 o'clock this morning. I think it was 11. Yeah, money was made by 11. Anyway, bottom line is that now what you have is this. Now you're coming back to that area. It's going to waffle around this whole area. That's what it's going to do. Up, down, all around, you know. Um, the volatility is nice. There's no two ways about that because the bottom line, whether, you know, it moves so fast, as long as you're moving fast at the same time, there's lots of opportunity here. That being said, now let's go into the NQs. You're going to see the NQs the same way. One second. Pull this up here. So we take a look at the NQs. Exact same type of setup. Comes all the way back. Right? Bingo. Right here. That's the number. Well, see, the NQs haven't come all the way back there yet. That's still going to come back. It, the NQs came to the, the second volume spike. That volume spike there was, uh, what, 17899 But we're not done yet. <laughs> this will come all the way down here. Now, now let's figure out, okay, 
when you get something like this, what, what normally happens is this, folks. The, the, the first day, first couple of hours are easier because the fear is so dramatic, okay? Then it gets a lot harder because the, the question is now, okay, we have a high volume low. It's like, okay, what is going to be the emphasis, not emphasis, that's the wrong word. What is going to be the deal to buy? Okay, who, who's going to really buy? But we'll get, we're going to get some kind of a bounce. There's no doubt about that, okay? The real question is, is that do we go test the lows first? Because this is a high volume low now. Okay, you get a high volume low. Bottom line, it's going to get, it's going to get tested, man. We go to the Qs. Now, the Qs are going to do more than 75 million. That high volume low that we were going after, well, we got it in one day. <laughs> well, we don't get the whole thing in one day, but just about. The high volume low, the high of that low is 422. Yeah, we may say it's before 423. And what you're going to see here, you're at 69 million. 75 is the number. It's going to be more than 75, so that means you're going to get tested. Real kicker is, is that, okay, what kind of a bounce are you going to get before that test comes in? We go to the note and bond market. So the note and bond market right now, here, let's do this. WB, uh, the 10 year right now, 3.76. Now, there's no, there's no doubt. The thing, you know what the thing that's amazing, too, what blows my mind? You know that, okay, so the Fed's been holding off, holding off, holding off, right? And, you know, of course, that economy-wise, the bottom line is that, yeah, it keeps squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. What does happen, I, I brought this up Friday, as soon as the market goes down, okay, the, the Fed claims that, no, 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 the market, they don't pay that much attention to the market. Well, guess what? It's a bunch of BS, folks, okay? As soon as the market gets hit like this and, and it gets hit worldwide, bang, they get out on rates in about two seconds. Now what's going on is that when you take a look at the futures market inside the bond market, they're pushing a half a percent cut in September. Well, I can tell you something. You get a few more days like this, which you absolutely can, because you remember that July 18th date, and I brought it up a lot of different times here, man. I always remember this date because that was the agent contagion. And once you start breaking in July, this turns into a real razor blade in the way down. And you can't expect real buy-in until October, November, and now we get an election, it's probably November, okay? So you're, gonna, you're talking August, September, October, high volatility. So make sure you're placed where you want to be. That's, that's, the real, that's the real kicker here. We take a look at, uh, oh, last night. So last night, <laughs> this was a trip. This is a trip in itself. You talk about Wall Street just selling anything and everything. Last night on Bloomberg, right, folks? So picture this. I'm, I'm talking with a couple of the Tigers. You know, we're going back and forth, <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to stay out of the market. And thank God I stayed out of the market till this morning. I flattened out on Friday night. But anyway, to make a long story short, what happened is that Wall Street was out with gangbusters on Apple. And so listen to listen to what a couple of these were. A couple of these, uh, you know, banks are saying, oh, it doesn't matter that, you know, Buffett just sold this many shares of, of Apple. Apple's still going up. It's like I was looking like, oh, man, what a trip this is. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 1,094. Uh, NASDAQ off 664. S&P's off 177. Yeah, on Apple, uh, it, well, okay, so you, you have Apple number one. Now, check this. NVIDIA, yeah, the CEO of NVIDIA, uh, he bailed on... Now, he owns a, a, really a lot of shares, okay? But the bottom line is that in July, he sold 323 million worth of stock. Okay, so... Bottom line is that you got to pay attention to these things when they're happening, folks, okay? And I know it's hard to because, you know, the, the rally up was so dramatically. Uh, you know, NVIDIA now just went from 140 down to 90, okay? We're at 98 right now. We take a look at this, and yeah, so this is going to go, it's going to get intriguing here. This came back to the last time with volume. 97, 80, 83 to 97 is the last time it had volume on the way up. And that's where we are. We'll see, we'll see if we can basically get anything uh, going at this particular price, at this particular place right here. We go to Microsoft. We take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft was also going into a high volume low. Actually, Microsoft let me, has two high volume lows. One second. Let's do this. Okay, so... Where is that right there? Okay, it's not, it's almost getting there. So Microsoft, 377. We went to 385. 377's game. We go take a look at inside the NDX. So you get NVIDIA down 8%. Intel's, oh, Intel's down another 7.5%. Unreal. I got to look at Intel. It's down 25%. This is... And you're talking about a haircut. Okay, so here, also, this is what I want to talk about. Just so for future downdrafts, folks, okay? You know that I look, I look at the DAX a lot. So what was also happening here at the open was this. See the DAX right now? The DAX only ends up being down 1.82%. Well, when we were down at the open, the DAX was already on its way back. That's, that's another piece of information that you can get that's important to, to understand if you're trading. As an investor, it can calm you down a little. As a trader, you want to be all over it. <laughs> that's the bottom line. That's, that's how this thing shakes out. But you can see when we, there, there's the low. The low of the DAX came in at uh, 830. 
By the time we were open at 9.30, the DAX was already coming back. That gives you a clue that the type of downdraft that we had, that it was going to be bought. That and, okay, if you've been listening to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, what we had on Thursday and Friday is that you had right here, we had the arms over three. Oh, look at right at it. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. 1.54 and 1.46. So that gave you another piece of information in order to basically step in. Now, when you get down drafts like this, when I, I brought this up at the beginning of the program, the important thing to remember is that when you get down drafts like this, the beginning of the downdraft is the easier trade. Now, you have to get over the fact that you're down so dramatically and no one wants to buy. There's no two, out, two ways about that. But you get used to that when you basically, you know, trade this quite a bit. Meaning, if you trade, you know, panics. And so you can see, you know, the bottom line is that, yeah, we basically, what, what had happened is this. Now, this is really cool. Last night, okay, at, uh, yeah, 1.50 in the morning, you know, you can see, if you're watching Tiger TV, see that downdraft right there? That downdraft there was uh, on the NQs. We got to, uh, where, 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 yeah, we got to 17,351. That was the low, okay? You do the bounce. You come all the way back. You test. You reject. Then what do we do? You get a nice sign of strength. You get another little pop, and then that's it. After that, you're really playing with fire. Like, to me, as soon as I don't get the volume and price, then that's it. And something that you do want to get your head wrapped around. If your head's not wrapped around the out of time in the trade, folks, I'm telling you, wrap your head around it. Because when you get volatile markets, these numbers and the out of time in the trade hit beyond belief. It, they, there's no control in the marketplace. What ends up happening, every... If the swings is taken out in volume, you're all set. It doesn't get taken out in volume. You hit the shot again, you go the other way. You're coming back down. It's going in, into the buy head volume. It rejects the buy head volume, has lighter volume, we'll go on top side again. This, that's just how it goes, man. And that'll change, but that's, that changes when you do get less volatility. There's no doubt about that. But bottom line, it's not going to, what will happen now is that for a couple months, these numbers are going to be hitting left and right, meaning the volume, the price, the fibs, all, all of the above. That's, that's, how, that's how it works in highly volatile markets. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And we got, uh, well, Apple's down 13, Tesla's down 10, you get Amazon down 7, which is not nothing, really. <coughs> Alphabet's down 7. You get... Uh, Microsoft down 13. Inside the Dow Industrials. There's not one stock that's green. The biggest down draft is United Health. That's putting 132 points. Apple, this is all these are all minuses, folks. Uh, United Health 133. Apple 90, Microsoft 86. The least one is uh, Dow Chemical. That's almost flat. 3M, same deal. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's really impressive, actually. Disney, that's kind of impressive, too. Yeah, Disney's only down at all. Look at Disney. What, what you do want to do, if you're hunting, man, what you want to do, you want to look for the equities that are basically holding up. Because those... What ends up happening also, those will be the strongest equities coming out of this. When you get, when you get a, a downdraft that's this dramatic, there's normally a changing of the guard. You know, I, I don't, I mean, I think big tech is still going to be here. I'm not, I'm not saying that. But there's a changing of the guard that happens, man. And, you know, you'll, well, we'll all see if we can pick up on it. Because that, that's what normally happens. Some of these equities don't come back at all, the vote, the because of the fact that they got smoked so quick, the people have to get out so quick, and then uh, there's trouble. XBT, let's go take a look at 
Uh, XBT. Bitcoin. This thing, there's nothing that didn't get smoked. That's the bottom line. Bitcoin, that's down 5,800. And we're 53,000. That's a hit. Oh. And we'll see. Let's get a long way. way uh, so we just did a 0 0.382. You're probably going to go to a 50, which is 44,000. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials off uh, 1,075. Nasdaq's off 625. S&P's are off 170. We'll come right back, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow's off 1,069. Nasdaq's off 591. S&Ps are off 165. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side. You just hit that button. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. Six months for $695, which is a savings of a... Uh, uh, $199 or 22%, and one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Steve Rose, what's going on? Nice to be with you, Tom. How are you today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing, doing great. Yeah, we've got a lot of fast runners born here in the United States. I don't know if you've been watching. I'm sure oh, you've been probably watching the Olympics. Yes. That was, that, was that something else? What, five one-hundredths of a second, right? Yeah. yeah, amazing, amazing. That and even was. when you take a look at the photo finish, it's almost hard to figure out who really won. Um, you know what you know. I thought was really cool? And, you know, because, you know, the the, the man himself, Lyles, right? Is that his name? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And, you know, you know, folks, I mean, if you saw him, okay, you know, it's entertainment, too. Oh, for sure. But it was yeah. so cool. I saw the interview afterwards, man, and the interview afterwards, he was humble, man. I mean, he said he said to the Jamaican man, "I think he got me on the lean," and he yeah. and, and he, he and I wasn't expecting to hear him says, ah, "I guess I got to you know pull back on my ego." He said something like, "It was really cool, man. It was like, wow, okay, this is part of his deal." Do you know what I mean? But, well, he, he, yeah, but he, I think he got a good night's sleep and he came back and I saw he was doing an interview because I think the 200 is being run this evening. Yes. And so in that one, he, he had the two guys sitting next to him and I think he was just thinking, I'm going to blow you guys away. Good. They're all fast. They're all so fast. No, you know, they are, man. And, they, and even the women. The women are great. So, yeah. Uh, and the swimming. Fun, fun, fun just, what are we going to do when the Olympus are gone? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think it's called baseball. Yeah. <laughs> we to, we exactly. start back to the, well, uh, maybe the, it's uh, just called the market. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. What a, what a market we have. So, uh, so what I would do is just kind of give the folks a feel for what it is that I'm looking at. Cool. And, and the very first thing that I pull up on my screen here is the New York Stock Exchange, the advanced decline oscillator. Um, Tom, folks, the way that the oscillator, an oscillator is the difference between two things. In this case here, we're taking a look at two things being utilizing the advanced decline line and looking at the difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving average. That creates the oscillator. That is in panel number two. Now, this oscillator has some very cool, unique properties to it. One, it helps us to um, objectively identify overbought and oversold conditions. Right now, or at least as of about a half an hour ago, the reading was minus 185. Tom, as soon as we get down to minus 150, and it depends upon the close, not where we're at at 333, but let's assume we do close below minus 150, then the New York Stock Exchange will be in an oversold condition. Now, what's cool about this chart is we can take a look at how price behaved when we were last down here. In the last three instances of being down below minus 150, and folks, we can get lower than minus 150. This just puts us into oversold condition. This tells us that we should expect and anticipate a bounce. It doesn't say that it begins at 334 in the afternoon. It can, but it doesn't say that. So here, if we take a look at the last four times, last the three other times down here, what we got was we got an immediate, and we'll take a look at the top portion of the screen along with this third panel. We immediately moved out of there. In fact, we moved to higher highs the last couple of times down here. Will we do that again this time? I don't know the answer to that question. I do know that we're in an oversold condition. That condition needs to be worked off. Sometimes it's an immediate move out of here. Other times, if you take a look at some of these uh, green diagonal lines, like on price back here in uh, November of 2023, the way that that oversold condition was resolved was price moved lower with a higher advanced decline oscillator reading. And I'm sure if we go back and we take a look at the charts back in uh, October of 2023, we'll see one of my signals that identifies a bottom, maybe a TD9 count, maybe Rhodes momentum indicator signal. So I want folks to understand that we are in an oversold condition. This doesn't mean that this is the bottom we add absolutely. I go to new all-time highs, but that is a possibility. So that was the first thing. 
The second thing, and you can also use this, Tom, to identify an oversold market, is when the spot fix index, and if you take a look at my chart here, yes. it would be the second line item. And again, this is about a half an hour ago. It was printed out at 3418. If you go down just a little bit further below, you'll see the August 2024 to April 2025 futures contract for the VIX. They're all trading below that number. We're in backwardation out there. That has to get resolved. This tells us that the uh, that that all of what we're seeing here is more of a short-term move, not a longer-term move. If we were looking at a longer-term move, now there's effort. A lot of people say this must be an indication that we're going to move into recession. I would say that's not what this is telling us at all. If the forward future contracts were up above the uh, spot VIX, then I could buy into that. So this just tells me we're in a real short-term emotional time period, and this condition also will end up being worked off out there. So I see the markets being oversold, enough for us to start paying attention to trying to identify bottom patterns. On the daily time frame, I don't have anything as we speak right now. If I go down to my next lowest time period, Tom, that would be a five-hour chart. If you want to take a look at the ES Mini, the NQ, lower left is the uh, Dow, lower right is Russell 2000. You've got TD9 count bottoms that formed this morning for three of them, the ES, the NQ, and the uh, Dow. No, I'm, I'm sorry, in the Russell 2000, the Dow did not. So earlier when, when, uh, when you came on, you know, you talked about this nice rally we had in the NQ, 938 points. That's a heck of a rally. It is. And like you said, <laughs> and like you said, and it's still trading down, right? Yes. <laughs> so to try to understand why did price stop where it did, I can determine that by taking a look at the charts here. You had the bottom pattern in the five-hour time frame chart for the NQ, and that's what I'm focused on right now. And price rallied right up into that red oscillator and change line and the bottom of its profile. So what I want to share with folks is tonight you want to watch that 18 223 level. If you see price trading above that, we should see a further rally in the NQ. 18.513 would be a price target. 18.804 would be an area. Right now, we did have price, after it got to that resistance level on the five-hour chart, I switched over to the 30-minute time frame chart. And on the 30-minute time frame chart, what we saw was price was pulling back. And it was pulling back to that red oscillator and change line. That is a, a key level of support. If price were to close below that, that would tell me we had lower, like in the NQ, 17.821, and the ES, 51.86, inside the uh, Dow, uh, really about where it's trading right now. Now, I'm looking at a different screen, and I can see that the NQ, which has driven the market lower, has hit that line. Uh, which right now is printed at 17911 and it has bounced off of that. That shows some potential, Tom, that what we're going to see here is a further rally overnight. So we're in absolute oversold conditions, whether we use the New York Stock Exchange, the advanced client oscillator, whether we look at the uh, spot volatilex versus its forward futures contracts. And right now it's a matter of that 30-minute time frame chart. Does it hold support? And if it does, I think we see a further rally this evening. And folks, great time to get Steve's newsletter. Get over, you're, you're on the website right now. Hit that button, Master in Probability. You're going to get that newsletter, bottom line. And we trade the heck out of it. <laughs> Steve Rhodes, you have a great one, safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Okay. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's down 1,100. Nasdaq's off 620. S&Ps are off 174. Let's go to our man, Mark, in Bedford. Mark, what's going on, brother? Wow. Wow. <laughs> How you been, man? Hey, Liz. Uh, really good. I, I'm actually... So happy that I listen to you every day, you know. Uh, when you're on the radio, you I know, appreciate or, or it. Thank you. Too, because, and I, I'm like so jazzed because looking at, I, I just went into some things that really protect, put my back up against the wall in my 401k, you know. Good. That's so, a beautiful thing. Yeah, I'm so happy. A good day for me today. Um, you know, I, I was going to look at some, you know, PIMCO short term bond fund, but I really, what I'm interested in. Is your, I'm looking at Lennar, and I'm like, I'm not, I have no position on it, but I'm, and I'm, I looked at Toll and all these other ones. What do you think about Lennar right now? So we got, and, and, and he's looking at the home builders, folks, because rates are coming down, period. <laughs> and Lennar's down four bucks right now, 170. So what I would do here, Mark, yeah. let this be for a bit. One second, let's see. So we broke topside. It looks like the strongest one that I can find. And let's see, so 161. I mean, I, you know, you can get serious about this like around 161 to 156. That's, yeah. you can see, because see what's happening here? See that high volume high on, not, not high, but the, the high volume spike on the, on the 18th of July. So we blew that away. So when you do something like that, it's like, okay, you want lower price. And I suspect, you know, the, the volume's not big today, even though it's down good, okay? So you'll probably meander down into this 160 to 156 with light volume, reject lower price, then you get action, man. Because what's going to happen here is that the, rate, the rates, folks, okay, are going to go down really quick. And the, the mortgage rates already have it. If an F FHA and a VA on Friday were getting quoted at in the high fours. Now, conventionals were still in the high fives. VA and FHA had sweet little loans. But that's telling me that within, let's say, month, two months, Mark, that I think conventionals will be down, you know, five maybe. And if we get to five, five and a half is a sweet spot on a conventional. Let's put it that it's way. It's not a bad deal, right? Yeah. If you get to five, this market... You know, and, and this is what happened in the 70s, folks, okay? What happened in the 70s and is that you had inflation raging. Then they got hold of it. Greens, not Greenspan. Um, oh, I forget. Anyway, the, 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 the Fed boss with the big cigar then. He yeah. got hold oh, of it. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah. yeah. And the prices did stop, but not the real estate. The real estate started accelerating again. And that's what I expect. Yeah, it just took off again. That's it took off again. Yeah. And, and that's what I think is going to happen this time, too. Because of the fact 
that people are just waiting to, what can I sign at so that I can afford this home or this multi or whatever they want? And it's all about what you can sign for, folks. Okay, that's it's it's price is one thing, but when you're putting like an FHA, you can still put three and a half percent down. If it's a if it's a quad, meaning a fourplex, you can put ten percent. You can put three and a half percent down. You can put ten percent down as long as three of the rents cover your mortgage. So there's deals out there, and there's going to be a lot more deals out there. So I think you're looking in the right spot, Mark. That's the real bottom line. I just hang tough, you know for a little bit longer before you step in there, man. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm just I'm just trying to get a feel for what right. you're thinking about this. No, market. we all are. <laughs> <laughs> when you get a fast day uh, like today, that's exactly what happens, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's exciting, though, because that, that kind of tells me that, oh, I've been on the right track. That's, that's right. It. That's right. No, no, no doubt. No doubt. Well, listen, man, thanks so much for the call. You have a great one and a safe one. You too, thank you. Okay, Mark, take care, man. Bye. The, uh, now, let's go see the indice volume out here, so. Okay. Oh, let's go, let's see. Let's go to uh, Pat in Orlando. Hey, Pat, what's going on? Pat. Bill. Yeah, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great, All man. Right. Yourself? Yeah, question. How you, you know, what do you do? What's your opinion? What do you do when, like, if you want to trade something today? Like, everything was shut down. Your Schwab, it couldn't get through. Your, you know, your mobile app, your desktop, Vanguard, Fidelity, they had issues with logging in. You know, I, I heard do? this. Now, with Schwab, are you on the ThinkOrSwim platform on Schwab? Yeah, I couldn't get in anything. That's weird, Think man. I was I was trading all day, man, with no problem. I was I was trading on yeah. my laptop. I was trading on my phone, but I know I know uh, people had trouble. Period. I mean, in the dead, I know they did. So yeah. I, you know, the the and, and that's a scandal, folks. Okay, it's pure BS. Yeah. Okay, there's no there's no doubt about it. And you know, I feel for you, man, because yeah. I go out of my freaking mind, man. If that's the case. Yeah. What you can do... Maybe, maybe it was an internet issue at the house. That was shut down for a while. Maybe it's my internet. I don't no, know. no, no, no. It, 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 this is not just you. I know, I know it's not, Pat, yeah, okay. because inside the Tigers, then they were having trouble, okay. you know. Okay. With, yeah, because I, I yeah. tried calling him. You could even call. If I called, the, like, the, the uh, retail line at Schwab, they don't even answer. They, 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 just, they just put the dial tone down, and they, they hang up on you because they couldn't get through. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, all right. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now yeah, you know it's, what it's, you it's, can it's, do. It's, you know, you know, you always can have a couple of accounts. The problem uh, with having a couple of accounts, folks. Okay, on a retail yeah. level, is that it really doesn't help you that dramatically unless you're day trading. Because it's like, let's say you have a thousand Apple in one account. Yeah. It's like, okay, well now you got another account. First off, you got to come up with the bread on the other account. Then it's like, okay, right. you know, you you can't sell. Yeah, well, you can, but if you if you're selling to try to get Delta neutral, selling your Apple yeah. on this side, I mean, it gets convoluted, man. The bottom line yeah. is that hopefully the SEC is going to come in and find the heck out of these guys because yeah. they haven't done it. And, and, and on fast markets, right. this happens a lot. And, you yeah. know, it's, it's serious business because two different things end up happening. Number one, if you're in yeah. a position you can't get out, which is a real disaster. Yeah. And then number two, if you're already in a position, yeah. meaning you're trading, and all of a sudden it goes down, well, now you're really screwed. <laughs> you know, especially yeah, on a day like today. I mean, because yeah, I mean yeah. the NQs go up and down like 100 and 200, and like in a, in a heartbeat. So, <laughs> all right, I wish care. I had Thanks a better a answer for you, Pat. Okay, man, Thank have you. a great one. Have a safe one. And you know, give them hell, folks. That's the real bottom line. You know, um, you know, we we should get a bunch of letters going to the SEC because. That is pure B. What that, what that is, that is they don't have the bandwidth, folks. That's the real bottom line. And what I don't know is what, but I know there's, there's plenty of other traders that it was working all day. I didn't have one problem. But <laughs> I know that can change in two seconds, too. That's, that's the other side of it, which is, you know, a real problem. It's, yeah, it's, it's bogus all around. All around. You know, because... Let's see. Okay, so 
No, that's what I want to do. I'm going to do on the indice volume. Let's see. Let's see what we go here. This is going to be big indice volume, man. <laughs> let's see. Well, well, not that big. We're already at, we're at 840 in the NYSE. That'll do 1.2. We're at 6 billion. Yeah, the Nasdaq's going to do like 7.76 billion, something like that. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off 1,100. Nasdaq's down 632. S&Ps are off 176. You got to see this, folks. This is like insane. This is the Nikkei. So... The Nikkei, let's pull this up. This is like, you know, it's hard to comprehend what you're looking at, actually. So it took 40 years for the Nikkei to get back to highs, and it took four weeks for it to go down 20%. Well, actually, it went down 20% in two days. Yes, you heard that correct. <laughs> that has got to be totally devastating for traders that will wait and wait and wait and you get it. And then all of a sudden, bye bye, see you later. You know, anyway, our markets here, bottom line is that uh, we, t we take a look at, you're going to see what we're talking about. When I started the program, the NQs were down 640, we're down 590, whatever. It's oscillating around this line. That's, that's the bottom line. It's oscillating a lot last time that it has volume. And that's, that's what they do when you get big downdrafts like this. You first get the acceleration, 
then they're going to mess around. They're going to build cars. And what you're looking for, this is what you're looking for. Now, here, watch this. See that, that bar from uh, 20 minutes ago? That's a good bar. It's not enough. I wouldn't be buying it. I'm, I'm not saying that. Don't even think about it, man. I'd stay flat for tonight. That's how I'd stay. But that's, that's, that's what you're going to be start looking for. You're going to start looking for pops like this. And you, what you'd really be looking for is a big pop. Then it pulls back, has light volume in the pullback, and then that's the buy. But most times, as I said at the beginning of the program, this takes three or four more days. There's going to be test, 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 more test. And then when you see something like this, see this right here? Now you've got an expansion of volume on the S&Ps, but it can't get to higher price. That's trouble. The S&Ps are down 172. See this buy right here? See the, see, the, see the buying coming in? Well, people are selling more than buying right there. It's trouble in paradise, folks. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.